This video was made for entertainment purposes only and is not intended to offend any individuals portrayed in this video. Thank you, and please enjoy the show. What an intriguing planet. This Las Vegas is supposed to be a place of hopes and dreams. But all I've seen from where I stand are fools that waste their money, time, and future on debauchery and momentary pleasure. Hmm. Perhaps it would be better served to terraform this planet after all. Hmm? On second thought. Lord Vader, I have returned. You may enter. Have you taken care of the preparations? Yes, sir. Your reservation at the casino downstairs has already been arranged. Excellent. This planet may be wrought with filth, but I see no harm in indulging myself in their pleasures before I turn it into an asteroid belt. As poetic as always, my lord. Enough with the ass-kissing. What news do you bring me of my opponent in the first round? Right away, sir. After conducting our investigation, We've managed to discover that your opponent in the first match is a man called Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil? Isn't he that Earth television personality who tells people how they failed their families on a regular basis? That's the one, sir. Interesting. And how is his television show doing? Apparently, the show will come to an end after this season. It's about damn time. It's a miracle the show lasted as long as it did, all things considered. Would you like to hear the report on his choice in Deccan strategy, my lord? No, there's no need for that. I already have a pretty good idea what kind of duelist he is. As one would expect of the Emperor of the Universe. Of course. Despite all the grueling hours I just spent slaving away online to get this information for you, you managed to uncover it by yourself. Uh, yeah. It's not like I had anything better to do while we're staying at a luxurious hotel with entertainment, beautiful woman, and exotic food. Soldier, are you, uh... Yep. No complaints here about being worked to the bone while our glorious leader gets to stand in the same spot majestically for hours, gazing upon the gorgeous view of the city and the shapely bodies of those- You know what? Why don't you go downstairs and enjoy yourself for a while, soldier? Is, is that really alright, my lord? Yes, yes. Go on, you've earned it. Thank you, sir! And here I thought I was passive-aggressive. Well, no matter. Winning the tournament is of far greater importance at the moment. And mark my words, I will be crowned the Lord of Games by the time this is over. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for another dynastic day of celebrity dueling as we jump into day four of the Celebrity World Championship. Joining me again today for commentary on the match is my good buddy, JB Smoove. It's a pleasure to be here with you, JB. Oh, you know it, Tom. Ain't no place I'd rather be, man. We were treated to quite the amazing match yesterday as Chris Pratt, channeling his inner Star Lord, managed to overcome Kanye West and his Egyptian God card. That shit was crazy, man. Kanye busted out that winged chicken of Raw like he was dropping another album. But Star-Lord was having none of that bullshit and hit his ass with a Uno reverse to send him packing. A sharp reminder of the unpredictability of this game, JB. Damn straight, Tom. Speaking of unpredictable, today's celebrity duel features two duelists who couldn't be more opposite if they tried. Then what are you waiting for, man? Let's see who we got cooking up today. That was the plan, my friend. In today's matchup, we have the Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader, taking on America's most beloved television psychologist, Dr. Phil. Oh shit, looks like we've got royalty in the house. Indeed. It seems the Emperor of the Galaxy has been in training for this tournament in secret. He must have a lot of time on his hands, huh? But I ain't gonna lie, a battle between these two has got me hella curious as to what decks they'll be running. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough, JB. Dr. Phil may be an expert at confronting people with their issues, but can he handle confronting a Sith Lord in a duel? That's something we're eager to see. I just hope Darth doesn't lose control and start force choking the shit out of people again, like he did in the movies. As frightening of a scenario as that may be, if there's anyone in the world that could dissuade an enraged Vader, it would be Dr. Phil. 
Now then, let us proceed with the duel. Are both contestants ready to begin? Ready and waiting. Let us proceed with the carnage. Then without further ado, it's time to duel. Duel. I've crushed rebellions and turned Jedi to the dark side. A duel with the likes of you will hardly pose a challenge. Well, Vader, I've mended broken homes and healed hearts. Now that's something I'd call a real challenge, but don't worry. I'll do the same for you before this duel is over. Your compassion will be your downfall, Phil. This is a duel, not a counseling session. Well, I beg to differ, Darth. By the end of this duel, begging will be all you have left. Your empty threats won't work on me, Darth. I don't make threats, Dr. Phil. I make promises, and I promise you that whatever delusions you have in your head of winning this duel will be thoroughly eradicated. Then please enlighten me on how the Lord of the Sith duels. As you wish. I now summon Cosmo Tinker. Uh, that's a peculiar choice in a monster to summon. Don't let his appearance fool you, as he's quite the resourceful little guy. I find that hard to believe. Your skepticism is of no consequence, Phil, as I end my turn. And since it's the end phase, Tinkin's effect activates. Now, at the cost of 500 life points, I can reveal three Cosmo cards from my deck to you and have you choose one at random to add to my hand. I certainly hope I chose a good one for myself. Spoiler alert, you didn't. Gosh darn it. Now make your move. Very well. Hmm, what's, what's that, that walking, walking respirator, respirator up to? Up to? He doesn't, doesn't have any face-downs face downs on, the on the field, field but, but still, still played such a weak monster. monster. I'll have, I'll have to be, be careful, careful about this. this. Remember, Remember, caution, caution is, is the name of the game here. Just, Just like, like when I have, have a couple on the verge of a meltdown, meltdown on my stage, stage I, have I have to take, take a step, step back and not rush into, into things. things. Not, not just yet. yet. I think I'll set this monster face down on the field. Then I'll lay this card face down and pass it back to you. Pathetic. I expected much more from you, Doctor. Patience, Vader. In therapy, we say it's all about the process, not the outcome. Trust me, I've got a plan. Well, I certainly hope so, my bald-headed friend. Fuck you. Because I'm about to turn things up a little. Come again? Oh, with pleasure. Once again, I activate my Tin Can's effect to select three Cosmo cards for you to randomly choose from. Here goes nothing. You're really shit out of luck today, huh? God damn it. I draw. And now I activate the second ability of Tin Can, allowing me to banish it and special summon a level 2 or higher Cosmo monster from my hand. So I'm summoning Cosmo Sliprider. Like the saying goes, big things come in small packages. The ladies must love hearing that from you, huh? Oh, they do. Especially your wife. What the hell did you just say? Oh, come now, Doctor. Don't get so worked up. You have much bigger concerns at the moment. Like what? Like my Slip Rider's effect, which allows me to obliterate that face-down card you have. Damn, you destroyed my Mystical Space Typhoon. Did you just say Mystical Space Typhoon? Huh? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, is that a problem? Mm, no, no, it's not a problem. I just, uh... The hell do you mean MST doesn't negate? It says right there on the card it destroys a spell or trap, so why isn't it working? Have some bad memories of that card is all. That sounded very distressed, especially for someone like you. Do you want to talk about it? I would rather not. So let us continue as I summon Cosmo Farm Girl in attack mode. Battle. Slip Rider attacks your face down. Now Farm Girl attacks you directly. And since Farm Girl inflicted battle damage to you, her special ability activates allowing me to pay another 500 life points to retrieve any Cosmo card I desire. That's all for now. My draw. You certainly aren't pulling your punches, huh? Please, I haven't even begun to show you the full power of my deck. Well, that's quite ominous. But I won't be intimidated as I activate Pot of Duality. Now thanks to this nifty spell, I can reveal the next three cards in my deck and add one of them to my hand. Then I'll activate Fire Formation Tanky. This will allow me to grab another card from my deck and I choose Assault Sentinel. But since, since I, I use Pot of Duality, duality I, can't I can't special summon, summon this, this turn, so playing, playing Assault, Assault Sentinel, Sentinel won't help right now. I need, I need some, some defense, defense, and I have, and I have just the card, card for that. that. I now summon Krabans in attack position. All that just to summon a fucking jester? You'd know all about clowns and jesters, wouldn't you, Darth? You dare mock me, you insect! I'm just returning your rudeness in kind, Darth. It doesn't feel so good, does it? Oh, you want to see rudeness, huh? Then far be it from me to deny your request. W wait, hold on, that's not what I meant. My draw. First, I'll be domain expansioning your ass by activating the field spell Cosmotown. And with Cosmotown's first effect, once per turn, I can call back a banished Cosmo monster to my hand. At a small price, of course. 
And now with my spell's second effect, I can return Cosmo Monsters from my hand back to my deck and draw the same number of cards I just returned. That doesn't bode well for me, does it? You catch on quick, Doc. I now summon Cosmo Wicked Witch in attack mode. Battle. Now crush that jester, farm girl. Sorry, Darth, but I'll have to put a stop to that. With what? You have no spells, no traps, and no chance of winning this duel. Maybe you should have brushed up on your Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge instead of your monologues. Excuse me? Because thanks to Kraban's special ability, by paying 800 life points, I can negate any attacks waged against him. I see. So the Jester has some tricks after all. But let's see how patient you can be as my monsters chip away at your life points. That'll be all for now. I draw. I've, I've got to change, change my, my strategy, strategy if I'm going to get through to that, that stubborn, stubborn Sith Lord. It's, it's like, like trying to teach empathy to a rattlesnake. You know, Vader, I've been thinking. Your anger. It's not really about this duel, is it? What in the Jedi are you babbling about? I think it's more about your unresolved father issues. I mean, you didn't even have a father, right? That absence is clearly having an effect on you. Don't make this about my past, Phil. And then there's your son. I mean... The guy blows up your workplace and you cut his hand off. That's not exactly healthy communication. Are you really trying to counsel me in the middle of a duel? Yes, I am. Because let's face it, Darth, you're about as emotionally stable as a house of cards in a windstorm. And if beating you in this duel is the only way you'll start to change your ways, then so be it. Oh, this should be good. First, I'll tribute my Kree bonds in order to summon my overdrive teleporter. And with its special ability, I can pay 2,000 life points in order to special summon two level 3 psychic monsters from my deck. Then I'll activate the spell Telekinetic Power Well. And what this card does is allow me to bring my Kree bonds back onto the field at the cost of some life points. Are you some kind of masochist, Doctor? Because all you've managed to do is summon more fodder for my troops. You may see fodder, Vader, but I see an opportunity. An opportunity for what? An opportunity to show you that just like in a good family, when my monsters work together, they're stronger than the sum of their parts. So I'll be tuning my level 2 Kraybons with my level 3 Mind Protector. I Synchro Summon Magical Android. Impressive. I had forgotten that psychic decks utilize synchro monsters as their aces. Then let's refresh your memory again, as I now tune my level 6 teleporter with my level 3 psychic wheeliter. I synchro summon hyper psychic blaster. And because I synchro summoned using psychic wielder, its ability allows me to destroy your slip rider. Unfortunately for you, Doc, when slip rider is destroyed, I can special summon a level 4 Cosmo monster from my deck to take its place. I was hoping you would. What? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Battle! Now my android attacks your farm girl. And now my blaster will attack your sword trooper. I think your old age is affecting your judgment, Phil. You won't deal any damage attacking my sword trooper in defense mode. And I think your old age is affecting your memory, Darth, as I told you before I was hoping this would happen. What do you mean? See, when Hyper Psychic Blaster attacks a monster in defense position, not only do you take the difference between its attack and your monster's defense, but I'm also able to regain life points equal to that same amount. Damn you. I think I've given you enough of a spanking for now, so I'll set this card face down and end my turn. Oh, and by the way, during each of my end phases, Magical Android's ability allows me to gain 600 life points for every psychic monster I control. Well, would you look at that? The tables have certainly turned, haven't they? Oh, what's wrong, Darth? Jedi got your tongue? Or are you finally willing to look at yourself in the mirror? You know, Phil, I think I have to thank you. Really? I knew you'd finally come around, my galactic friend. It's never too late to start working on self-improvement, after all. Oh, no, Phil. Not for that. Huh? I wanted to thank you for giving me the resolve I needed. The resolve to destroy you without any mercy. Now, just hold on a minute, Dark. I draw! I activate emergency teleport! Now I can special summon a level 3 psychic monster from my deck. So return once again, Cosmo Sword Trooper. And thanks to Sword Trooper's special ability, by paying 1,000 life points, I can summon from my grave, Cosmo Dark Lady. You think I'll just sit here and let you finish your combo? I activate my trap, Bottomless Trap Hole. Now say goodbye to your Dark Lady. Guess again, you fool. What? Dark Lady's special ability allows her to banish herself before your trap resolves. And in her place, I can now summon my Cosmo Dark Destroyer. 
but, but that's not fair. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Phil. It was never fair. Now my Dark Destroyer's ability activates, allowing me to purge your psychic blaster. And now for the cherry on top of this delicious ass sundae. I activate Sword Trooper's ability to banish itself and bring forth the object of fear and terror across the cosmos. I summon Cosmo Dark Eclipser. Oh, sweet Jesus. Battle. Destroy his magical android. Now attack him directly, my witch. Is there any mercy left in that soul of yours? Oh, there is, but none for you. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Darth Vader, Lord of the Sith, is the victor of today's celebrity showdown. What an intense match, huh, JB? You goddamn right it was, man. That shit had me on the edge of my seat like I was watching two girls, one cup. No pun intended. Not the comparison I was hoping to hear today, but I get what you mean. It was quite a treat to watch Darth utilize the Cosmo archetype that are actually based on the Star Wars franchise. And a psychologist using a bunch of psychic cards, it was a match made in heaven. The duel was pretty even until the end as it seemed Dr. Phil had pushed Darth into a corner, both on the dueling field and with his psychological warfare. Phil tried to play some mind games with Darth talking about his family and shit, but it backfired on that psychic rat bastard. Indeed. Dr. Phil's attempt at counseling the Lord of the Sith only served to hasten his demise as Darth Vader will be advancing onto the next round. Now let us hear some words from Dr. Phil as he exits the tournament. It's truly a shame that I wasn't able to connect with Darth during our duel as I want to help him control his anger problems and also resolve his daddy issues. That's Dr. Phil for you. Always trying to help those in need. Now let us hear some words from the victor. You have my thanks, Tom. To my loyal followers across the galaxy, the dark side prevails once again. Your Lord of the Sith stands victorious, just as foreseen. A wondrous speech, Lord Vader. Keep it a buck with me, man. Is it really true you got daddy issues? Oh, that's just a misunderstanding, JB. You see, the only daddy issues I have right now are when his wife calls me daddy while I'm force choking her. Bruh! Okay, I think we've heard enough. To avoid having another brawl, let's just wrap up today's show and call it a day. See you all next time for our next celebrity duel. Tom Lively out. How about you cash me outside, Anakin? How about that?